So what you try to do is you got to scream and yell and jump and hopefully you'll grab them and you'll sell the guy his lots at a high price and then turn around and you'll buy them at the lower price from the guy behind you. And that's why you have to be strong and you have to be loud and you have to be big and that's why you have to be a man for this business. What I like about trading commodities is the action. You have to have the market be very uh, volatile, meaning it's got to it's got to move up and it's got to move down, and you have to go in there with an attitude of you don't want to lose. The raw materials which the world produces every year form the foundation for the industrial production of the rich countries. However, almost half these commodities come from the third world. Products such as cocoa and coffee, cotton and rubber, bauxite, silver, copper and tin. Export of these commodities is the main source of income for the third world. 23 developing countries are so dependent on them that more than half their exports consist of just one single commodity. For example, 60% of Ghana's income comes from exporting cocoa. Chad earns 80% of its income from the export of cotton. And Zambia, 93% of its revenue from copper. Uncertainty about the price and major price fluctuations form a very insecure foundation for the growth and development of these commodities producers. The more price fluctuations in silver or in any commodity, the more money can be made. Uh, if the price were to remain stable, you couldn't make much money. If it goes up very high, then of course you can make a lot of money if you bought it lower and sold it very much higher. And if it went very much lower then you can make a lot of money if you sold it higher and you bought it a lot lower so the more the price moves up and down the more you can go in and out of the market long and short and keep on making profits what happens is that 